Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 11.40 in Honolulu, 5.40 in New York on Thursday, 30th day of March, 2023. And this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Even with a continuation of a strong U.S. equities market, we saw gold have a respectable gain. It was partially due to dollar weakness, along with yields on government bonds declining, but I think the most important factor that people are focusing upon today is the fact that tomorrow, the preferred inflation indicator by the Federal Reserve, the PCE, will be released. It is currently expected that inflation indicator will continue to show that inflation remains entrenched and elevated, and that could certainly strengthen the resolve of the Federal Reserve to raise rates rather than take a pause. Gold is certainly showing some strength today with the April contract of gold futures at 1981.10. That's a net gain of $4.20 or 0.72%. But as I'll show you when we pull up some charts, it is June gold that is slowly becoming most active. It's most active in that it has greater volume than in the former most active contract, and that is up $13.5 at 1998. The key with what is to become the most active contract, June, is the high. $2,000, $2.40. So we have once again seen gold flirt with that key psychological level. Now, part of it's due to dollar weakness. The dollar is down by 0.44% and the index is fixed at 101.85. Lastly, a strong move to the upside in silver, a gain of 2.47%. About 58 cents added to the most active contract, which is May. And May silver futures are currently fixed at $24.4.5. Traders, as you know, today I sent out a trade status alert because we saw the June contract of gold futures actually break above $2,000 per ounce. Right now, it's just below it at 1997. We're looking at the former most active. This is the April contract, and it's reflected on my continuous contracts. What I want to really show you on this is the volume or open interest, 145,716. That is in the April contract. I'm going to switch over to the June And what you'll see is it's almost even 145.716. So we're definitely seeing a shift from the former into June, which is why we would put our trade on in June. Current pricing there, 1997.70. The fact that June and my continuous contract, which was April, has now switched to June as seen by this chart, which is the continuous contract, and the pricing is the same, just above this trend line at 1997. We are looking at spot gold pricing, which represents where the April contract was, which was right around this current pricing at 1979. And the differential is the difference between the former former April month and the current June month. So it is not a real gain except for the $14 or so that was gained in both contract months. As you know, the models we have been looking at closely called for a five count in Elliott wave correction of wave two, uh, this being wave one down here, then to wave two, three, four, and then five, and then our thrust. Now, if we look at this is the conclusion of our fifth wave, we're still really missing the fourth. In other words, Elliott wave is a science as well as an art. And the fact of the matter is, if we get solid confirmation that this pricing holds throughout the evening and into the morning, that would mean buying the breakout 
rather than being able to buy the bottom of this range as we spoke about in the two possible scenarios in the trade status alert that I sent out today. It is still possible that we will see a decline and then go to our thrust. In either case, I believe that what will determine whether or not we will see gold move above this trend line and have that effectively become a support line rather than a resistance line is what the PCE numbers say tomorrow. If it shows extremely elevated inflation remains entrenched, that's going to be exceedingly bullish for gold because of the level of inflation. And that being said, I doubt that the Federal Reserve is going to act by having a rate hike of more than a quarter percent, but that kind of cements that in. If it is not that strong, if inflation has diminished a little bit, that in fact in this case would be extremely bullish for gold because that could result in the Federal Reserve pausing in May, and that's 33, 34 days away, rather than initiating a rate hike. That would be the first pause since it began raising rates at every consecutive FOMC meeting since March of 2022. Stay tuned because we will act and send out a trade alert via SMS text message along with email. And we'll see how this develops and act accordingly. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.